first thing you would like to do is download all the files for this project. And um, whether you're going to download it from the course or you're going to download it from the YouTube channel, they're all the same. You want to download the um, starter code for blood type, blood data Java. Um, you want to download the patient Java. You want to download the test blood data type Java, the test patient Java, and the unit four exercise four instructions. Now, if you're doing it straight from the course and you're in the MindTap system, it's a little different. You'll have you won't have to download them in a specific place because you'll have all the tabs next to each other. But if you're going to submit them to the Dropbox uh, for this course, you're going to have to uh, copy the, these particular files and put them in a file and um, zip them together and submit it. Okay. Otherwise, what you're going to do is you're going to do in this particular matter. If you're going to, if you're listening to this video, chances are you're going to just download them from the video uh, from the YouTube channel. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to save them in a file. So I'm going to go find a place where I know where they can, I can easily find it, which in my case is usually the desktop. So I'm going to right click, new, uh, I right click, new, folder. So I should call this one blood type or blood, something like that, right? I'm just going to open up the folder. And now I'm going to copy from my downloads these uh, four. You don't have to put the instructions in. You could if you wanted to. It won't harm anything. But you definitely want these four. Um, just put them over into this folder. Okay. I close this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, and I'm going to open up my JGRASP. I'm going to click File, Open. Now I'm going to, going to go to my desktop. So I'm going to navigate to my desktop. And now I'm going to find my um, blood file and I'm going to open up blood data Java. So I'm ready to go. Okay, when you, you open up your starter code, your blood data, in your JGRASS program, okay, you're going to have to add some stuff to your program. So we're going to come up here and we're going to set up a couple of variables up here. We have um, declare your private variables. We want a private variable for the blood type. So we'll just call it private string blood type. And we'll call our RH factor private string RH factor. So um, add our default constructor values here. So I can put up here um, blood type. Matching this up here, blood type. And what's the default for blood type? O. And the other one was plus, right? See, so that's our default constructor. We're going to return um, blood type O. And blood type positive if we don't if we're not given any other um, option okay 
So here we're going to set up um, a method for uh, getting our blood blood data. So we're going to produce a string. We want to produce a B type. We want a string that produces an RH. So we come here. We just put in here blood type up here. This blood type. is equal to reproducing B-type. And we're coming here for RH factor. Is equal to what? RH. Semicolon. And we come down to here. So I want to set the blood type. How do we set the blood type? I'm going to add a method here. So I'm going to put, just like we had here, blood type is equal to B type. And how do I get to the blood type? What method? How, how does this method work? I'm just going to put return blood type. Okay, it's the same thing with RH factor. So just like I have here, RH factor equals RH. So set RH factor. Click here, then click enter. I'm going to put in here RH factor equals RH. And how do I get my RH factor? Come down here and I click here and I put in here return. Um, RH factor. Okay, so now let me um, compile it, save this. So now you see the star has gone away on my blood type jet Java, so that's saved. So now I'm going to compile it, see if I have any mistakes. Okay, doesn't like blood type so what I'm going to do is replace that with this okay so I'm going to save it I clear this we run it again I'm going to go build. I'm going to click run. Okay, he doesn't like RH factor. Yes, I have all little RHs up here, then I changed it to small RHs here, so little RH here. I'm going to clear this. And we'll run it. It's looking for a main method. Of course, our main method is going to be in test patient data right here. So now we're going to set all this into a project. Click here. So we're going to add to new project. Blood data is fine. We'll just go next. We'll put add files to project now. 
I'll click create. We're add to it. Patient Java. Click add. We're add test blood data type. We'll click add. We're add test patient Java. We'll click add. Then we'll click done. Okay, now let's build the patient data part to the patient Java. So click patient. So now we're going to put some strings up here. We're going to put a patient string for ID, private string, ID. Now we're going to ask for the patient's age, so we can put in pr private, int, age. So we're going to pull up the private blood data. We're going to pull up the blood data. We've got public patient. So now our patient, um, we're going to have the ID be zero for the default uh, patient. If you don't have anything else present, the blood data. Equals new blood data. And as you remember, what the what would this pull up? This would pull up a, a O plus. Okay, this, um, your if you don't put anything else in there, the default constructor will give you a, a value of O. ID is zero, and the blood data pulls up defaultly um, the blood type of O positive. So now I'm going to um, get us a, a public patient. So what is this going to look like, the public patient method? We're going to have a public patient. Um, that it's going to produce a string of a string ID, an int age, and a string byte. So we're going to put up here this dot ID equals ID. This dot H is equal to H. And we'll have blood data is equal to new blood data. And what are we looking for? A blood type and RH factor. So put in my parentheses, I want to return a blood type and I want to return an RH factor. Okay, so now let's get the ID. So I come down here. Um, I'm going to return the ID. So how do I set the ID? This dot ID equals ID. So how do I get the age? So I click here, uh, write age method here, get age return age. How do I set the age? Click enter. And I'm going to go uh, this dot age is equal to age.
So how do I get the blood data? Return blood data. And lastly, um, how do I set the blood data? Click here. Blood data equals B. Here we have we have called B for blood data, right? So I click here after set method here. Click enter. Blood data equals B. Semicolon. So I save this. And I click uh, build. And I click run. So now all I have to do is to uh, compile all of them. So I compile them all at once over here. It says open projects. I don't have to do them individually. All I have to do is press the plus. Then I click the run guy. So first I test blood data. I click OK. Tells me the blood types. OK. So next I run. Um, I click run and I'm going to try test patient. I click OK. So everything runs fine. So I've got this to work in the um, in the JGrasp, but I did have some issues running this in the regular um, program that that you have in the course. But you should see check your answers with my answers, okay? And um, you should be able to run this well. Have a good day. Bye.